everyone, I'm Melanie of Art Studio 320. Welcome to a new project. This week's project is a dresser that is completely made out of particle board and veneer. Yikes. It is a bit of a challenge for me creatively, but that is a good thing because you gotta keep that brain moving. And I have thought all weekend, actually a few weeks, about what to do, and I think I have a pretty good idea. I'm going to be using Fusion Mineral Paint. I think I'm gonna leave it there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please press that red button, and you can follow me on Instagram, and the link for that will be in the description box below, along with all of the materials that I use today. Stick around and find out what I'm doing for this crazy three drawer dresser. All right, first up, we're going to get rid of that chunky hardware and clean off the whole piece with simple green. I wanted to get rid of these grooves in just the one drawer and I thought that quick wood would be the easiest way to, to do that. You needed to knead the two compounds together to create something that would harden. And it was kind of like putty. And then you just put it in the grooves and let it dry and then you sand it. Next, I am taking off these weird plastic things and then cutting off the, the sides of the piece because I wanted to put legs on there. So I'm measuring out where my jigsaw is going to go and then I put on a piece of tape so I have a really nice guide for my jigsaw. Now when you're using the jigsaw, you want to start it before you start going into the wood and you don't wanna force the saw along. You just want it to guide slowly and just kind of feel it and make sure your feet are out of the way when that wood falls. And always measure twice and cut once. In order to put feet or legs on your piece, you need a top plate, and that's what this is. And I just drill the holes and then put the screws in. And I found it was easier if I put one screw in on the corner, and then I didn't have to hold the plate quite as much. I just sanded the edges real quick so that they weren't so rough. And here the quick wood is dry and I'm starting to sand it but needing to fill a little bit more. I'm going to show you up close. Now here, no, let's go around the side. Here, this is what it looked like before I did anything. And then I I hit it with a 60 grit, which I now realize was too coarse. You need something a little finer because unless, well, it's flaking off. And the problem is when you sand with the 60 grit, you get to the particle board really darn quick. So. You just, and then there's the, the top that's so smooth and I'm hitting it with a 60 grit and it's barely making a dent. And I can't put paint on this. It'll slide right off. So there's just, there's a delicate balance of what grit to use and you just kind of have to figure it out. So 60 grit is too tough on this and I used a 220 on this side and I think it'll be okay but if it's flaking up you got to get it off of there but I suggest you use something a little bit less coarse 
then 60 grit, maybe a 120 or maybe 220. Maybe start out with a finer grit and move your way up if you need to. So there you go. All right, good morning. It's Tuesday. It's paint day, my favorite day. Really quickly, I'm not affiliated with Fusion. I just like their paint and I like their little motto, paint it beautiful. And I like the back. It says, I think it says something like painting is good for your soul. It is, so try it. <laughs> All right, today is paint day and I am using two different paints. I decided to do a two-tone, Sacred Sage and Bedford. This is more of a neutral. This is kind of a green, greenish gray. So I think these will look very nice together. I'm painting over a surface that's called melamine. It is a thin layer that is meant to look like wood. It is not wood. It's not really a veneer. I guess it's in the family of veneer, um, but underneath is not wood. And the veneer itself is usually a thin piece of wood, and this is not. It's underneath is particle board that's like sawdust that's just smashed together. <laughs> it's a little tricky when you're working with something that isn't just wood. It's, um, it's almost like a plastic. One of the things was it was bubbling and I had to sand it and then I tried to put wood filler on it and it just sanded right off and bleh. So I sanded down to the particle board. Not completely, but to get rid of those little, um, they're not gouges, but they, they were definitely going to show. So hopefully that will help. So I'm painting. I put, yesterday I put boss on the surface of, well, the whole thing actually, the whole dresser, not the inside, but just the outside. And kind of a bonus with the boss, it it blocks odors and uh, prevents bleed through, but it also creates like a rough surface. So that will help me because the melamine is very slick and I needed to make sure that the paint was going to adhere to the surface and you need little fibers to come up and with melamine that doesn't really work very well. So this actually, created a surface that was kind of rough. I'm going to be sanding that because I don't want it too rough, but it'll definitely uh, adhere to the paint. The paint will adhere to it. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. I'm using the Fusion Mineral Paint All-in-One, and this color is Bedford. And I'm starting with what I'm calling the trim or the edge of the drawer. I'm using my zebra fan brush and I'm just trying to be very careful, just trying to make my job a little easier, um, but it wasn't as important not to get on the top because I had to paint the top a different color anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. Rest of the piece, I decided to paint in this sacred sage. It was kind of a greenish gray. It kind of changed colors with the light, but it looked really nice with the Bedford. And I'm using my Zebra Palm Pro here. I used the roller on two of the drawers and actually, I used a foam roller and that was a mistake. It left a very rough finish. I think I need to update you. Um, it's, it's, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably like four o'clock on a Tuesday. And the drawers um, have not cooperated with me. The wood filler I used, I used that quick wood and I also used plastic woods, which is always good. I always use that. The, the quick wood I've used a little bit, but not quite as much. Um, 
it's nothing those two materials did. Um, I'm not even sure it's anything I did, but I, I mean, I sanded and sanded and sanded and I refilled and filled and um, there are spots that are showing through. I can't put that drawer in the dresser. You can see in some of the spots where that wood filler is to fill in those big grooves. So I sanded it. Now I've painted it. I used a roller because it was easier, uh, a little easier to control so I wasn't getting it on the sides. Um, <laughs> can you tell I'm frustrated? Uh, I, I'm sanding it and then I'm going, I've done this before, I did it with the bar stools. Um, it was just one little chip but uh, I'm going to use my plastic wood X. I'm going to fill in those spots. I'm going to let it dry, sand it, and then paint over it. And it, it should be okay. That's all I can do. I'm, that's, that's all I can do right now. Um, I, think, I think it'll be okay. I'm not freaking out. I'm just... Uh, I just wish it would just go my way. <laughs> and that sounds whiny. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just filling you in. This is what happens um, when you run into something. You gotta stop and you have to fix it. Because if you keep going, you're gonna come out with a product that you're not gonna like and you're not gonna be able to sell it. I'm trying to do this the best possible professional way I can. And this is what I'm gonna have to do. We'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, a quick update before I start. It's Wednesday morning. Uh, the drawers that I was freaking out about yesterday look lovely. <laughs> they actually, I'm very proud of them. They look so much nicer than they did yesterday. So I, I'm going to touch up the trim around the drawers. I call it trim, it looks like trim. Then I'm going to put the legs back on and see where we're at. So, let's get started. I'm taping the tops of the drawers so that I can touch up the edge of the drawers. Just a quick word about my little dolly that I use to move my furniture around. That is a lifesaver. I suggest you get one. It's very easy to build. These were black when I bought them, and I thought gold would look so pretty with the green. The color is called Gilded Brass. Good morning. It's Thursday, and I'm actually finished with my piece, or I thought I was. But here's the thing. I originally thought that I wanted this. I wanted something that was pretty basic, because this piece felt pretty basic to me. The hardware was chunky. Uh, some of the grooves that were cut into the drawers were chunky, but I took that all away. This became too plain. So I went to Menards last night and dragged my husband Bill along with me. He loves Menards, so it wasn't really that hard. And I found these. Now, I was a little worried because they are kind of skinny, but I was thinking tapered would be better. Tapered um, and round. So I think this is gonna work. And because the end here is silver, I'm gonna spray paint it gold to match the hardware, the poles. So I'm going to do that. And I'll tape this all off so I don't get any paint on this part. Cause I'm not quite sure, well, I'm not gonna paint I'm not quite sure. I guess I could, but I don't want to. Do I? No. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. But while we were at Menards, I found this. It's just a little skinny piece of trim that I want to put 
down here on the bottom of the piece. The hardware really made it dressier, so I wanted to dress it up, and um, I think that will be nice. So I'm gonna do those two things. It shouldn't, okay, you know what I'm not even gonna say. I'm gonna do those two things, and then I will be finished. So I'm gonna get to work now. I decided to paint the legs gold on the bottom, and about not quite halfway up, I was going to paint it the sacred sage. So I used tape to mark that off and get a nice clean line. And then I painted the top on all of them, put them on my little box where I put my hardware and wait. And then I measured out my trim, used this little tiny back saw with itty bitty little teeth and then I sanded off the edge put it on the piece after I painted it with the Bedford color and just made sure that it worked with the drawer that looked really nice I used wood glue and got it all glued on there I put one on the top and one on the bottom this is the gold color that I used for the bottom. It's basically the same color as the gilded brass, but they didn't have that color anymore. <laughs> now look how nice that looks. I am so pleased with those legs. I need to drill some new holes for my drawers because I filled the old ones with quick wood. And then I put in the hardware, which means it's almost over. <laughs> My piece is almost finished. I'm adding some Mama's Big Butter to the bottom of the drawers to make them easier to pull in and out and clear wax for extra protection. Well, friends, that is all I have for you this week. It is a scorcher here <laughs> and I am sweat. Whew. I am so, so thrilled with how this piece came out. It was not touch and go, but there were definite questions I needed to answer, I needed to figure out. And sometimes it's frustrating, but I found it very challenging and in a good way. Um, I learned a lot and I, I learned, although I already knew this, don't settle. If there's something in your gut that's saying, yeah, I don't like that, or I need something more, whatever, act on it. Because I, I did a few times this week, and I am, I'm just thrilled. I came a long way with this piece, and I hope through my struggles, you learn something and you won't be afraid to try some of the things that I tried. Success, failure, it's all good. In fact, failures are really how we learn. And I know you've probably heard that your whole life, maybe not, but failure is not a bad thing. It's how we learn and man, I had a lot of those this week and honestly, it got me to exactly where I am today, and I'm happy. Stick around for the after photos. Don't forget to subscribe, and also follow me on Instagram. Lots of stuff. All right. Thanks for being here.